Okay, so here we go with the dampers. <laughs> These are the ones that I've already done, obviously. You can see it's all twitching when I'm lifting the uh, damper lift rail. And the way we do these is, um, as you can see, these are your usual dampers. You've got the damper guide holes. You have to slide them through there. And first of all, make sure they line up at the top. Make sure that when they sat in a straight position, they're straight down at the bottom end. This one's going to need some adjustment. Poke it into there, and then that grub screw will grip onto that. And that grub screw is responsible for the height of the dampers. And they're still looking a little bit rough at the moment because I'm rough, uh, regular, rough, roughing them up at the moment just to make sure that uh, we've got them all on. And then I'll fine it afterwards. Um, now, when it comes to dampers, um, you've basically got to make sure that uh, when they lift, they don't come out at an angle like that, which you do by bending that wire. You've got to make sure they don't do that, which you do by bending that wire down below. Uh, you've got to make sure that when they lift, they don't do that or that, which is done by bending that wire, or lifting up at the front or lifting up at the back first, which is done by bending that wire. Uh, you've also got to make sure that they don't... Um, uh, they, they stop all three strings ringing at the same time, which is done by bending that wire. Uh, so basically, you've got one adjustment, and that is bend the wire. And of course, bending the wire changes all the other adjustments as well. Uh, so it's a bit of a pain to actually set up these uh, these dampers. Spot the one I haven't done yet. It. Mm. One last thing to do now. Several more last things. Right, uh, okay, so the dampers are on. I'm now on to the hammers and the whippens slash levers, uh, depending on whether you're American or English. Um, I must apologise that I am starting to miss out certain parts of this procedure of doing the piano because it, it's generally, we have now got three days to get this piano finished and time is running short and I'm uh, trying to get things done as quick as I can. Uh, since the last video, what I've done is I've set up the guide hammers, uh, which means uh, when you're putting hammers onto the shanks, uh, the shanks are longer than they need to be. You put the, the hammer on depending on where the sweet spot is on the string of a piano. Now, if you've got a length of string, say you've got... that, if, if that's the string, there is generally a part roughly about... Uh, it's Some people say it's an eighth of uh, the, str the total string length. Generally, what we do is we um, put the hammers on roughly... Um, to where roughly they were originally, and then see, pull the action in and out, pull the hammer head up and down the shank until we find the part that sounds the best. Then we glue on the guides uh, from there. And uh, that has been done. So we now have a rough idea of where the hammers are all going to be sat. So now that we've got that, we are now screwing on the uh, whippen slash levers. So you can see, they're a complicated mechanical part. It's actually the uh, the connection between the key itself and the hammers, because as you can see, the hammer actually sits with that little roller there. 
on the top of there and when the, I'll, I'll get more into this when I'm regulating the piano hopefully as long as there's time to do so but uh, that part's the repetition lever this part's the jack that's the body of the weapon and this is the flange we've got three moving parts there all doing different things a spring in the middle and uh, yes that is uh, getting them all to be precisely set up correctly that to be in the right position the spring to be at the correct tension we've got to tension all the springs so that they're absolutely fine that's got to sit just underneath the surface there's an awful lot to do with the setup of the uh, the weapons and uh, that from there on we can glue the rest of the hammers on and then it's just regulating and you will hear how the piano sounds very shortly I'm thinking the next video or the video after you'll actually be hearing the piano play badly at the moment but it's going to play so right I better get on because time is short now we've got three days to finish off this uh, piano and uh, we need to get it done so uh, see you soon all right challenge for this afternoon get these and get the hammers on that's in glued onto the uh, the shanks shanks come like this We've got to make sure that that head fits on there perfectly. So, first thing, run it through the knurler, obviously with two hands, uh, and until the head fits onto the shank, as in like this. Then, dip the shank into the glue pot. Boink. Hot glue, of course. Um, turn the head round so it makes a nice sleeve as in the ones down there, as you can see. Uh, push it onto the shank, and then get it. We've got this rail set up at the back, so that when I lift, we've got guide hammers at the either end, and they just, just touch that rail behind. So therefore, if I screw the, uh, the new head that I'm doing onto the shank, and get that to just brush, it'll be the precise length that we need down the length of the shank. Then, looking at it that way, that square edge, put the square edge so that it's sat on there, like so, and measure up from there to there. I've got this uh, set so that it's roughly at the same height that the strings will be, so that when the, the hammer hits that, it is precisely square to where it will be on the piano at uh, a pre precise 90 degree angle to the strings. So, there you go. It's, obviously we're gonna have a bit of tweaking once it's in the piano, um, but uh, yes. And I've got, what time are we on? Right, I've got three hours to do this. Easy. Okay, now I wasn't here yesterday um, because I was doing teaching at uh, the Newark College of Piano Restoration. So um, I missed yesterday, which is uh, where quite a few things happened. We've now got the Sostenuto rail set up. Uh, the, uh, the keyboard has been regulated. The hammer's all obviously been on. Uh, a few other little touches are the... Uh, the lyre is now complete with its backstay completely in place. We've got all the pedals connected with the uh, the rocker mechanism of the um, spring so that we can change the tension of the spring depending on what suits best. Uh, there's been a few finishing touches on the casework in here, which has been uh, the fall is now complete. Just needs felting. But the regulation has been done and uh, the piano plays. Obviously, now it needs tuning because it's only ever had one chip up. So uh, <laughs> I've got my work cut out this morning for the tuning side of stuff. Then it's just fine stuff like another regulation, a um, little bit of finishing touches with the felt in. Um, couple other minor tweaks need doing and we've got one day to do it so I think we're going to make this yeah